afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani, and today I'm going to bring you a pineapple casserole with my special touch. Here's the, here are the ingredients. You're going to need two eggs. Uh, I've got a half a bar of cream cheese, which I'm adding a half of a stick of butter. A can of pineapple tidbits, a can of crushed pineapples, some vanilla extract, some powdered sugar, two packs of townhouse crackers, you can use Ritz, a pound of ricotta, this is half full, and that's it. That's all the ingredients you're going to need. Uh, here's the thing I wanted to show you, though. You see this? This is my homemade vanilla extract. And I started that it's got vanilla beans in there. It's hard to see them. But there are vanilla beans floating around in there. And I've had this going. I started this January 23rd of this year. So it's going to be a year old. I'm going to wait till it's two years old. You shake it every day for the first couple of weeks. And then like every two weeks after that. And uh, once two years are up, I'll go ahead and put this in a decanter bottle, dispenser. And use the same beans and refill it up with... Uh, the ingredients again and go for another year one thing about vanilla beans is they are perpetual always giving forever giving and um, that's all it is it's um, I have a video on how to make your own vanilla extract so just look it up it's in my other channel all right but if you put creative cooking in Nani's kitchen both of them should pop up the original one on top of this new one Okay, one is an icon of a pastelon, kind of looks like a lasagna dish. And then the other one is my Creative Cooking and Ani's Kitchen uh, logo, uh, which is this channel. And the only reason why there's two is because I had to get a new phone when the other one died. And YouTube do, does not merge videos. You have to start a new channel when you get a new phone, unfortunately. Now, I could download all 300 videos and then re-upload, but that's a lot of work, and I'm not going to do that. All right? So, let's begin here. Um, I'm going to begin by crushing my crackers, whisking my eggs, and melting my butter. And I'll be right back, and then we'll go ahead and get this together. Okay, you're also going to need a casserole dish. Now, if you want to double or triple or make a bigger casserole, this recipe is all fair. You can do it. So I've got mine right here. I'm only doing two cans. It's just Hubster and I. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix. Pineapple crush with pineapple tidbits, okay, in a bowl. Separate the juice. Okay. Let me try that again. Okay. Okay. 
So, there's that. I'm going to do the same with the crushed. make these cans to where you can barely open them. They don't perforate them really well. Alright. Okay. Yep. Got it out of there. Now you can add cinnamon to this if you want to, some nutmeg, some allspice, which I think I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm mixing my crush with my tidbits. Okay. And I will be adding some of that pineapple juice back, but just, just don't need all of it. Okay. It's about a cup of juice right there. Okay, so gonna mix the tidbits with the crushed all together. Okay, do that. because I like this. Yep, I have a teaspoon of that. And we're gonna stir this around. I think I need a, a whole cup of flour. Let me go ahead and put in another half a cup. So make that a whole cup of flour, half a cup of sugar. Okay. This looks more like it. Whoops. Okay. We're going to put in a little bit of this pineapple juice. Probably about a quarter of a cup. Okay. Oh, that looks better. Much better. Okay. Got it. Set your preheat your oven to 350. Go on and set it now if you follow along. If you're making this, go ahead and set that to 350. Okay. Here we go. Get this out the way. Alright. We're going to bring our casserole dish over here. 
and we're going to put in half of our mix. Why half? You'll see. Because I'm making this my own. Making mine a little different, y'all. It's called Creative Cooking for a reason, this channel. All right. So, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm putting in half of this mix of pineapples and tidbits and crushed pineapples. Okay, mixed with one cup of flour, a teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a, a teaspoon of cinnamon. And half a cup of sugar, all mixed right in here. Okay, so we've got one layer in. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this to the side, and we're gonna take the pound of ricotta. Okay. And put that in the bowl. Now, for every pound of ricotta, you have to put in two eggs. Okay? That's just the rule of thumb for ricotta. So, I have my two eggs whisked here. Okay? There we go. Give that a mix. Excuse me. This might sodium bicarbonate pills. I'm gonna be filming another episode of my journey with ESRD and stage renal disease because there's some things, some updates that's going on and I want to bring you all in and because I want to share that journey for whoever, if there's anyone out there going through the same thing or just beginning, you know. Okay, so that, next I'm going to take the half a bar of cream cheese and I'm going to throw it in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and this is room temperature, this uh, cream cheese, so it should blend right in easily. Don't forget to preheat your oven at 350. Okay, I'm going to get the whisk, help this along. So now to this, we're going to add some powdered sugar, probably about a cup, which is everything that's in here, I would think. Yep, pretty much. 
But I've got another bag in the pantry. Just have to wash this out and let it dry and fill it back up. All right, so we're going to use the spoon. Just kind of mix that in there. And what we're basically doing is a custard filling. And we're going to put some vanilla into this also. Oh, you know what? I've got vanilla and I think I have some. I've got coconut. I thought I had some cream cheese. Extra. I do. I have just enough. I'll have to order some more. Okay. Cream cheese extract. Okay, now remember the ricotta has two eggs. So you don't need to add any egg in this but I am going to add some cool whip yep about uh, two, a cup and a half. Cool it. I want to fold that in. Okay, we want to get go ahead and get a teaspoon and a half of this um, unflavored gelatin. Okay, put add a little bit of, of water to it. Um, let it set and then microwave it, melt it, and put it in. This is kosher beef gelatin, not pork. All right, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the gelatin. It already bloomed and just reheated it. So we're going to pour that in this mix. Okay. Okay, we're going to mix this in. All right. 
Okay. Next. Okay. We take about one quarter of the pineapple juice. Put in our crackers. Our broken up crackers. Doesn't have to be crumbed. Just broken up. Okay. I actually like little chunks of it. Like that. Mmm. Pour in your half a stick of butter. Okay. You can also mix in some coconut flakes or nuts with this. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that your crackers get coated with the butter, okay? Because this will top, this is going to be the topping, and you it'll get toasted. Okay, just like that. This is really easy recipe. Very easy. It's three steps. It's three steps because I put in a filling. But this original recipe doesn't call for a filling. This is just my added. Okay, here we go. I'm going to add the filling. You can even put chocolate pieces or like Milky Way, you know, in between. Peanut butter cups, whatever. Get creative. Put marshmallows. All right, so there my coating. I'll leave this for something else. Okay, and then we're going to do the rest of the topping. Don't worry about it being thin because we also have to put the crackers on top. So that's okay. Again, you can add pineapple, I mean pineapple, uh, coconut flakes. Rajas de, de coco dulce. Después de añadir. So done with this, and now and salt the spatula a little bit, and we're going to put in our crumb topping. Be afraid to push it down in there. Pat it down. Okay. There we go. Here. Didn't you? Hi. Mm. 
crackers. So, I could put in some coconut flakes in this, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it alone. That's enough flavors, I think. Alright, and I am going to bake this at 350, which my oven is ready because it's been preheated for 30 minutes. Alright, so I'll bring you back. Alright, time is up. We're going to take a look at our dish. It's good and it smells good. I think it's gonna it's gonna need another five minutes, so I'll bring you back. Well actually I'll put it for another ten. I'll bring you back. Okay, well everyone, here it is. She's straight out of the oven. She's very, very hot. Um here's a tip. When you put this in the oven, make sure you put it in a tray because it does spill over because of the cream filling. Usually it doesn't carry a cream filling, so there's no danger of that happening. But because I added a cream filling, yeah, if, as you can see right here, it spilled over. Not a lot, but, you know, it spilled over a little bit. Um, so I would suggest that if you do it with the cream filling which you can omit that, but if you do it with the cream filling as I did, that you sit the casserole in a tray. And then also line that tray with the aluminum foil or uh, parchment paper so that it's easy cleanup. All right, so we're going to let that cool off. It smells so good in this house, I've got to tell you. It smells delicious. Oh, it's so sweet. Just smell that cinnamon. You smell that all spice, all those spices you can smell in this house, along with that pineapple. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I'll be back with the final presentation, okay? All right. See you in a minute. Okay, everyone, here it is. She's cooled down enough. Now it's not time for dessert. But I'm going to cut a piece just for the sake of this video. And then I'll just shower cap it and put it in the fridge for hubster later for after dinner. We're going to have us some flat iron steaks seared with some rosemary, some garlic, and butter, and olive oil, and some white rice, and some navy beans with smoked turkey. You know, tail. my eyes are told you got me five so, minutes ago. I finally wore them out. The leather on the palms and stuff. On the what? On the palms and stuff. What was it? The leather gloves? The the isotoners you got me oh, five the years ago. Oh, okay, I got you. I had them for years. And then uh, Stacy needs a Walgreens and bought them and didn't even know that my isotoners were wore out. Oh, well, that's good. I now said you have another pair. Yep. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to cut into this. Okay. Look at that crispiness. This will absolutely become your, if you have children, your children's favorite. If not, it'll become your favorite. <laughs> Dessert, promise you. Oh my God. Mm. Mmm, mm. Lord, just grab a little crumb off this knife. You know what would be good though? Even though I like the savor and the sweet contrast, if you just sprinkle some sugar on top of the crackers before baking, that would be good. Okay. So, let's go ahead and 
get I'm this out of here. Okay. This is a pineapple cream fill casserole. And I got to tell you. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a pineapple pudding. <laughs> it is. So good. I am going to take a little steal of a taste. Probably go over here and get some of this delicious custard. Hopster won't miss it. Don't nobody tell him now. All right. Ready? I'm going in. Mmm. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, yeah, I've got to tell you, you've got to make yourself some. This is out of this world delicious. So. Let's line up the pair, shall we? And take a picture. Maybe that's a Lincoln Continental. Oh yeah. Make yourself some. Get creative. You can do flakes of coconut. You can do uh, nuts. You can do it all. But make yourself some. Trust me. You've got to do this recipe. Until the next one, y'all. Give me a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you will never miss out on any of my upcoming recipes, okay? You'll be notified immediately once it's uploaded onto YouTube, onto my channel. Until the next one, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves and one another. Bye.